What's up guys, Gaming Initiative here, and welcome back to some more Life is Strange episode for The Dark Room. Um, alright, well we left off getting the morphine injector. Oh look, it's William. Oh, that, her room's in the garage? Hey William, um, am I bothering you? Why yes, Max, I love going through bills. <laughs> kidding how can you bother me i haven't seen you in forever i know you look exactly the same she really does <laughs> it's so cool good or i'd be scared if i didn't look like me <laughs> of course you seem more adult now so what's on your mind um being around you and joyce again is so Nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Uh. <laughs> We're friends now. I remember when I threw a bucket of paint on you. Yeah, sorry I didn't talk much in the last episode, it was just that there's so many cutscenes that I really wasn't able to. Hey, this is Chloe's old room. It's empty. Toys. Shoes. Let's sit. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. Yeah, we only need to sit. Poster. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Now, where is the bathroom? That's not it. No. Oh. oh, Max, it is so nice hey. to have you around. Kind of just snuck in here. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the um yeah we don't need to get back talk to right now. now it's good talking with you Joyce you too honey um oh the, the bathroom's the one that's open huh <laughs> silly me Nothing here. There's drugs. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Hell uh, yeah, this whole freaking place has drugs in it. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Doing drugs. Huh? How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. You should have just let Chloe be reckless and crazy. You shouldn't have changed. Uh, well, technically, she didn't change. Try to change her. She tried to save William, which she did, but that turned out to be shit. For Chloe, at least. 
Well, either way, Chloe's fucked because she either has a dead parent or she's dying. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. <coughs> of course, I do good. my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Photo out. Ooh. Let's go do our drawers. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at me. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Turn page. Oh, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. I know. Literally seems like yesterday. I was there yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I'm not gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna say I don't know. I really don't know if I could do this. I had another friend who w wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. 
Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. What the fuck do I do? I don't want to kill her. Uh, but I also just don't want to refuse because then she's gonna fucking hate me. Um, what the fuck are the. No, I'm not doing it. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right for choice. And William, I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. I think it's I gonna make I, me. I it's gonna make me do it. Kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you. But not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. Bitch wanted me to kill her. Fuck out of here. Um. Can I? Oh, I was gonna say. I'm can sorry, I? Sorry, William. So now I'm gonna go back in time to kill William. That looks focused on the damn picture to me. Come on. Is that not focus? Okay, there we go. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? So now your life's gonna feel like shit because you have to kill him in order to save her. This is what, this is what happened in the end of the last episode. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. That kind of, Like, that just kind of makes it seem like... She knew that her dad was gonna die, so... Well, Chloe's gonna probably feel weird as hell.
Now step douche is back. Everything going back to how it used to be. You're back. <laughs> that makes whoa, it seem whoa, weird. Down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You're making you everything sound awkward. Hi, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. I like how she has a bunch of I'm just pictures too. of like Welcome back to the real world. a lot of girls. <laughs> Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Photo. Lost in all this shit. <laughs> Yay, a trophy. Now, what the hell was I going to? Oh, the board. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun. <laughs> Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on mm -hmm. it, partner. No, fuck him. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. Yeah, no more going back in time. The hell? Am... Or, well, you can go back in time, not like all the way back in time like you just did. Oh, hey. Are you leaving? You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. So he does have a sensitive side. But you know what? I don't even care. I don't like you. Ooh, I got a message. Ah. 
Hello? Can I message back? Because I feel like an ass just, you know, not messaging back. Chloe. Alright. Well, I think. Oh, never mind. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I was going to say let's end the episode here, which we are now going to do. And so I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.